Hey, today we are going to take a look at the free Windows optimization app called WinToys. Now, WinToys, as I mentioned, is completely free and it has a ton of cool features. Now, if you are on the GitHub page here, if we scroll down, you can also see here that it is quite regularly updated as well. In the latest version, we have a ton of fixes and the latest version as of recording this video is 1.3.15. Now, if you go back to about this application, you can simply click here on Microsoft Store and this will redirect you to the microsoftstore.com and here you can also see its ratings so it has 159 ratings and the average rating is actually 4.7 now you can also download it by clicking here on download or if you want to download it from the microsoft store you can simply click on here and this will redirect you to the microsoft store on your computer you can simply click on get button and this should install win toys on your computer and once you have the application open you will see here the welcome screen and here it says hello experience windows in your way and keep it fresh every day now let's move on we have also apps and services uninstall any app even those apps that don't have an uninstall option in windows then we have speed up your windows and increase the frame rate in certain games just by tweaking some settings next feature is health keep your windows cleaned and free up your storage using the built-in cleaner feature next one is tweaks personalize your desktop and learn cool new features that are worth using in windows and the last one is a warning so it is highly recommended that you create a system restore point before making changes to your device better to be safe than sorry and by the way if you need a brand new wallpaper you guys can check out this one and many other wallpapers included in the wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description with that said if you haven't already make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel as well your support is highly appreciated here on the home screen you can see simply see the system, graphics, windows, processor, memory, and the performance. And under the performance, if you click here on this button right here, this will run the benchmark and create a score for it. Now here you can also see how many of the applications I have installed. Running processes 147, services, space cleaned, processor usage, video card, memory, as well as the network. Now let's take a look at the next option, which is apps. Now here under this section, you can simply sort the applications by win32 so this is basically the apps which are installed using the .exe file and for example here you can see microsoft edge microsoft onedrive and you can also sort them by store so the applications which are installed on your computer from the microsoft store like the arc browser we have app installer copilot and many others and the cool thing about this app is that you can also go to the file directory so let's say for the microsoft edge you can simply click here on the three dots and if if you click here on browse this will redirect you straight to the microsoft edge directory so basically wherever it's saved and it's really cool to be honest now the next tab is called services right now i have 89 services running and if you go here you can pretty much also click on any other category right here as well for example we can go here under the stop and you can see here that right now there's 166 services which are actually stopped and if you go for example to disabled we can also see how many of them are disabled as well and if you click for example on the three dots here you can also click on browse and this will redirect you to the directory itself which is inside the system 32 folder and if you click here once more on the three dots here you can also change the mode to the automatic or to the manual or even disabled you would usually change this in the services section so here you can see which are running and which are not however i think that this option so this style of the ui looks way better compared to the default windows one and here you can also if you right click for example you can go here to the properties and change the startup type here as i mentioned to automatic or disabled however in the windows app it's way simpler to do that you can simply click on the three dots and go to the mode and change the option right here which i think it's pretty handy now we can also go here under the performance we can see here that the first option is ultimate performance power plan i would suggest that you enable this feature if you are on your desktop machine if you have the laptop i don't think it's a good thing to enable this however if you have the desktop i think it's highly recommended that you enable this and if you click on this this will redirect you to the control panel for the power options and here you can already see ultimate performance is right now enabled using this application and you can also change the plan settings if you want to so the next option is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling i think that you should definitely enable this 
this feature if you for example have nvidia or amd supported gpu right now unfortunately i don't however if you have it you can simply enable it by toggling this option on then we have also here another one which is vbs or virtualization based security now this one creates an isolated virtual region of memory to increase protection against vulnerabilities and malicious exploits if you want more secure system you can also enable this feature right here and you can also see here the recommendation as well that this feature might actually decrease in-game performance by up to 30 percent so if you are gamer i don't think it's a good thing to actually enable this feature then we have here the simple option called startup apps so if you click on it down below you can simply see which applications are booting alongside the windows like microsoft teams at the moment start experiences app and you can simply just disable them right here then we have also another feature which is called relaunch applications so automatically saves restartable apps and restarts them when you sign back in so for example you can also enable that and i think that this feature is self-explanatory enough then we also have the background app so allow apps to run in the background activity history and here you can also change the visual settings windows ui related settings recommended for older configurations so here for example you have transparency if you for example have older gpu you can simply disable transparency right here otherwise you would manually do this in windows settings and then you can also adjust visual effects for best performance you can also enable that and here you can see that i will have to reboot this computer to enable this option however you can also go here and basically what this toggle actually does it enables this feature right here so adjust for best performance but by default this is set to let windows choose what's best for my computer and then here down below we also have the gaming settings so you can also enable game mode windowed mode optimizations background recording and super fetch as well and then down below we also have search indexing so if you click on the hamburger menu right here this will actually redirect you to the windows settings and the option which i highly recommend of enabling is this option right here enhanced options to find my files so this will actually scan your old computer and this will index every single file you have on your computer and that way the searching on windows will be much faster and this simple toggle is also available right here inside WinToys application let's go here under the health section you have here fast startup hibernation drive optimization every single option here is enabled and then we also have storage sense so automatically cleans up some temporary system files you can also click here on the repair and for example if you have some crashes on windows you can simply for example go to sfc so system file checker and click here on scan and this will do it for you you don't have to go to actually go to the terminal and type in the command inside the terminal you can simply go here and check which option you like here and click on scan then you can also run memory diagnostic inside this application which i think it's very helpful and then we have also the cleanup feature here so for example we have the taskbar and if i click on here we can see here the message all pinned taskbar items will be unpinned your items search task view widgets and the co-pilot if you want to clean up taskbar in an easier way you can simply use this feature and click on unpin and this will remove everything from your taskbar which i think is very very handy to have and then you can also remove the junk so if i click on the trash can here you can simply see how many of the files i have to actually clean so 3.84 gigabytes and you can simply remove them by using this vintoys optimization tool then we have the file explorer if i click on here you can simply clear the file explorer history microsoft store you can clear the microsoft cache and then we also have here the configurator for the system updates if i click on this here you have the default security manually or disabled but i highly recommend that you have the default option here enabled and then down below we also have this feature called app updates and if you want you can also automatically download and install app updates if you toggle this option to on here down below we also have this option restart the graphic driver so if you have for example some issues with your drivers for example for an nvidia card or amd you can simply restart it by clicking here restart button now the most important section here is called tweaks and the first option is called desktop so change desktop related settings like the pc icon wallpaper quality and more so the first option is called this pc and if you enable it you will see this pc shortcut on your desktop then we also have the recycle bin widgets which are here down below shortcut arrow and we also have here drop shadow for icon labels classic context menu which you can also enable right here and this will restart the file explorer right here give it 
it a minute and if you right click for example you will see here that we right now have this classic right click context menu i know that many of you guys actually prefer it this way right here and then down below we also have wallpaper quality so right now this is set to 85 but you can also increase this to 100 however you will have to reboot your computer to have the wallpaper quality to 100 then down below we have start menu settings like the include bing search results auto install suggestions account notifications show hibernate in power menu as well and then down below we also have file explorer and the first option is called show file extensions so if i go here right now to the pictures folder inside the file explorer we can simply right now see this file extension which is .png and if you have this disabled you will only see the name of the picture right here show files after extraction is complete which i think is very handy show the preview pane for files show recycle bin in the navigation pane use checkboxes to select items sync provider notifications as well and open to so by default this is set to i think home however i set this to this pc which i find more useful and then below we also have the privacy settings like the location telemetry and many others as well i highly suggest disabling the telemetry right here and then we also have the ads you can simply disable this here as well and then down below we also have the system for example you can also enable clock with seconds and if i enable that file explorer should restart and we should see the seconds in the system tray and right now you guys should see the seconds inside the system tray right here here from these options right here we can also disable mouse acceleration and down below it's very interesting option which is called god mode and you will see here the new icon which is the icon of the control panel and if i hover with the mouse over the icon you can see here that see a list of all program tasks and if i open it right here you should see here how many of the services are actually right here inside of the control panel so these are basically the services inside the control panel just in a different layout and then up below we also have spotlight images so if you have your wallpapers from the spotlight images you can also extract them to your folder of choice by the way speaking of the wallpapers if you want a brand new wallpaper i made a brand new wallpaper wallpaper pack and this wallpaper which you can see right here is actually included as well so make sure that you click the first link in the video description below and check it out i think we went through all of the settings pretty much and overall please let me know in the comment section if you actually tried this application i think that bogdan actually did a quite a good job with this application and every single option which is usually hidden in the windows is easily accessible inside this win toys free optimizer application Application. overall i think this is pretty much it for the video thank you so much for watching like this video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel as well and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next one peace